Well, this morning I'm in the town of Rhythin, historic town of Rhythin in North Wales, and I'm in Morog Street, just heading out of Rhythin, and I'm heading to a place called Pool Park. As you can see there, Morog Street. Yeah, and I'm heading out um, on the B5, well, heading on the B5105 but turning off because the B5105 is quite a busy road and I'll be heading off towards Evernected which I'll explain about that a bit later on. So it's, it's a lot quieter road, very narrow country lane really but a lot quieter than the B5105 but turning off by the church uh, and I'm heading to a place called Pool Park. Pool Park, some call it Pool Park Hospital some call it Pool Park Asylum um, and I'll explain a bit later on about the history and a bit more about Pool Park once I turn off this Beat 5105 A few hundred yards I'll be turning off this road like I say it's a lot busier there's two ways, you can carry on going on the B505 or you can get to Evernected, which I'm, that's the road I'm going to be taking. It's a lot safer, it's a lot quieter. It's starting to drizzle too. I can do without that. Anyway, keep going. the church in front of me there. Just about 100 yards and I'll be turning off this busy road. Turned off. I could carry on down that way to get to it. But as I said earlier, it's a lot busier than past the B5105. But this is a lot quieter. It'll get very narrow, but the road is very quiet. As you will see a bit later on. As you can see, very narrow, but very quiet, a lot safer to walk. Um, yeah, like I said earlier, you can get to it from the B515, but it's much better coming this way. You just meet the odd one or two cars, just stand to one side. You may get the odd tractor. Um, but when it comes to, um, I wouldn't call it a village really, a hamlet is it, have it acted? It's a word for you. <laughs> I've enacted, which in, in about probably about a mile and a half, and then from I've enacted, um, I turn off, and it's probably about half a mile, say, and then I rejoin the B5105, and then it's about probably a few hundred yards further up the road, and then I turn off, and there's a track then that leads up to Pool Park. Call it Pool Park, Pool Park Asylum, Pool Park Hospital. A bit later on, I'll give you a bit more info and history about the place. And just to the side, don't know if the camera's picking it up, but you can hear the traffic on the B5105. Probably hear that. A lot busier it's there. And there's nothing on the road that I'm taking. So someone going to pass there in a minute. Yeah, you can see there's cars passing anyway. I say nothing, there's a car coming, but there's plenty of room in the section I'm on now.
yeah it's, it's where I am now it's widened a bit to what it was but it will get a lot narrower and especially when I turn off at Evernachted um, that's what you get narrow country lanes but like I say they are quiet that's the first car I've been walking now for about a quarter of an hour say 10 minutes quarter of an hour and that's the first car that I've put well I've met nice and quiet As you can see the roads, well, track really, it's narrowed again and I've just uh, heard uh, rumbling behind me, I turned around it was a Land Rover pulling a big Ivor Williams trailer so I had to really squeeze into the hedge, it took the full width of this track but it's not a problem if you just squeeze in the hedge and you're alright but as I say, nice and quiet, you can still hear all the cars on the B5105. Like I say, I will be joining it. I've probably walked about, well, I haven't uh, reached the start of Rida Gasseg yet. Walk that I woodland walk that I've recently done last week, I think it was. Rida Gasseg. Nice woodland walk. I'll be passing the entrance to that soon, so I've probably walked about a mile. So it's probably about another mile to go. I'll reach Avenechted. A sleepy hamlet. I wouldn't like to call it a village really, but there's only about half a dozen. There's a church then, half a dozen houses and what have you. So I've enacted and then I'll turn off. And I think it's about a quarter of a mile and I'll reach the B5105, the busy road, but I haven't got much to walk. It's probably just a couple hundred yards. Then I'll be turning off. Oh, right, this is the uh, start of the uh, Ridigasa car here again. It's nice, it was a nice walk. Lovely smell from these hedgerows as well, and it's brightening up. It wasn't supposed to rain today, but I just had a bit of a drizzle. But uh, this is the start of Raid Agassic. But I won't be doing that today. Carrying on. Evenechted, the next stop. I'll give you a bit more info about Pool Park a bit later on, too. A bit of the history and what have you. Onwards and onwards. Okay, Pool Park. <coughs> Pool Park Hospital, Pool Park Asylum. Um, car coming. Is it? <coughs> what is it? A tractor in the field. A tractor, I think. Yeah, Pool Park, Pool Park Hospital, Pool Park Asylum was the sister hospital to the North Wales Hospital, the NWH, or the mental, as, as Denbyites call it. Um, it was constructed, built in 1862, and it was closed in 1990. But it still stands today, it's a derelict. But I think it's going to be um, converted to a care home. I think there's a bit of work being done on it. Come to North Wales and you got sheep. <laughs> You're never far from a sheep. Yeah, I think it's going to be a um, care home or something like that. Um, it, it, was, it was housed for 87 patients, but at one time it reached 120 patients in it. Um, yeah, like I say, um, it's, had a, it's got a fantastic staircase in it, and I, but I'm not interested, I'm not going to go into the grounds. I'm not interested in going into the building, I'm just going to the, to the gate at the start. You know, there's like a little, little track and you come to a gate and you can see Pool Park from there, well, you can see most of it anyway. Yeah, there's a tractor up in that field, I think. And at one time in World War II, there was even a POW camp in the grounds, a prisoner of war camp in the grounds of Pool Park. So, a bit of interest there for you. Yeah, but I won't be, as I said, I won't be going into, I won't be trespassing, and I'll talk a bit about that a bit later on. Um, there was something that I wasn't too sure about when I turn off the B5105, but I'll, I'll have a chat about that a bit later. But yeah, I'm not going to go into the grounds, and I'm not going to go into the building. Um, the main theme of this is just the walk from Rithin to Pool Park. So I should be reaching 
have an acted soon. <laughs> Probably about a quarter of a mile, something like that. And then it's about another quarter of a mile. And I'll reach the B515 back on the busy road. And then I'll be turning off after about 200 yards, something like that. So I'll have another chat with you a bit later on. <laughs> See behind me there, it's quite a grand house. Tucked away out in the middle of nowhere. Nice and quiet. But it was a lawnmower. It's one of these sit on lawnmowers, he's mowing the mowing the grass, but very grand house that. Nice quiet location. Also we have an echted too. That's the only well hamlet that I'm gonna come across on this road. Be nice, nice living in places like that, but it's getting to and from it. As you can see, well probably the camera is not making it out as narrow as it is really. But it is, it's just room for one car. There's no way you get two cars would pass. And if a car came, I'd have to really squeeze into the hedge. It's very narrow. And there's no no pull-ins. So one of you is gonna have to reverse, you know, to get past. Like that's the only drawback. But otherwise, great places to live. Nice and quiet and peaceful and so I should be reaching. I've enacted very, very soon. And this is it, I've enacted. Which carries on a bit down. I'll just proof, I'll show you. I've enacted. The chicken too. There's a chicken. And there we go, there we go. I've enacted. But I'm not going that way, I'm going this way. So I've got about a quarter of an hour, uh, quarter, <coughs> quarter of a mile, I'm going to say quarter of an hour then, quarter of a mile and I'll reach the B5105 and I'll have a bit of a chat a bit later on about something I wasn't sure about, something where I, it could have been a private track but I've done a bit of research and it's not private but I'll have a bit of a chat about that a bit later. About a quarter of a mile and I'll be reaching the main road. To the narrowness again. Yeah, um, I'll be reaching the B5105 very shortly and then as I said earlier about 200 yards and then you turn off and it, it, there's a track then that leads up to Pool Park. Now that track I wasn't sure whether it was private um, because there's a farmer apparently very protective of Pool Park he sees anyone in the vicinity, he'll, he'll suddenly arrive on his quad bike. Normally, he comes on a quad bike and it's a clear off, get off my land type of farmer. Um, you're not very, he doesn't make you very welcome. So, I wasn't sure whether that track from the B515 5105 um, was private, but one thing was in. Think, me thinking that it was a public road because it leads to about three or four houses. If there was just one house at the end, like at Pool Park for instance, or just another single house, then it, the, the chances are that that track, I wouldn't call it a road really, it's probably, it'd be something like this, um, then it could be private. But being that it was leading to about three or four houses and a farm, I was thinking the chances are that it's not private, you know, it's not owned by a single house that's, you know, that was on the land, being that there's a few houses there. So what I did, I did firstly I looked up on Google, Google Street View or whatever you call it, and they've driven up there, it shows you pool park and everything, they've actually driven up that um, track, but that doesn't mean to say that it's public, because Google have been known once or twice, shall I say, um, to actually, on, on street view, they have driven up private roads and drives and things. Um, so I wasn't too sure with that. So what I did, I did a direction finder. You know, you, you, you set up a map on your computer and you just type, well, in my case, I typed in Denby to Pool Park, get directions. And it showed the track, you go 
this is that up Murrog Street, it says the B5105 and then wait for it, it says come to this track and it says turn right, turn right, it sends you up the track and it shows you on the map, it shows you going up to the track and it, it directs you right to the gate at the end of that track and to Pool Park, so that means that that track is public, that it's not private. If it was private, it would direct you from Denby through to Rithin on the 515 and then it would stop on the 515 and it would say your destination is probably about a quarter of a mile on the right. You know, it wouldn't send you up the track, but it does, it actually sends you up that track. Um, but just in case, I've got my GoPro and all that, in case I'm on that track and uh, someone stops me and says, you know, what you're doing, where, where you're going and I'll just say, well, you know, what's it? I won't be, you know, nasty or anything like that. I'll just say, well, why are you asking? You know, what, what's it got to do with you type of thing? Because it's none of their business because it is it is a public track. But like I say, there is a farmer and he's very protective of the place. So I may have to do uh, a bit of t explaining that you can film um, private property from a public place. So yeah, come to a little junction here. I'll be heading up here. Not far off, B5105 now. So yeah, um, like I said earlier, I won't be actually trespassing, so I won't be doing nothing wrong. So if Mr. Farmer arrives, <laughs> there's nothing he can do. So shortly I'll be reaching the B5105 and then it's uh, turn left. And then I'll be reaching that track. And hopefully I won't get confronted. Drizzling again now. Huh? That's better. <laughs> yeah, the reason I got my GoPro is because I, if I do get confronted, I'm going to just flick that on and just document it for my own purposes and safety and what have you, and just to document what's what's said and what what happens and what have you. I don't want it. I don't want a confrontation. It's the same when I document the mental the NWH North Wales Hospital. I don't go out there looking for, you know, I have recently security for some reason they've picked on me, but I didn't go out looking for it, not like some do. Um, I quite like this auditing now, it is it is a good thing, but with me, if it happens, it happens and I'll document it. I don't go creating, oh it's drizzling again now, I don't go creating a scene and what have you, anyway, anyway obviously basically. Rain. Can hear that traffic again. Yeah, you can see on that. So I'm getting close to the main road. Not far to go now. Drizzly day. Wasn't expecting this. It wasn't forecast either. And here I am at the B5105. Turn left here and then uh, it's just a couple hundred yards. And I'll be turning right on this track. Public track. Well, this is the track just turned off and nice young lady come out of the house and there's a sign there on the, the as you turn off private road it's got a no entry sign and private road residence only and she came up to me um, and I kept approached her and I said I know this is private or it says private <laughs> wink wink and um, all I'm doing, I explained what I was doing. I'm doing a film of a walk from Rithin to Pool Park. I said I'll just be. Is the car coming? Right, <laughs> part two. Um, I just switched off with GoPro on. The car just went past. They just. Flies. Yeah, they just waved and they just carried on going. But um, yes, yeah, I explained what I was doing getting attacked by flies, just um, a video I said I'll be just at the gate, I'm not going in the ground, I'll be just at the gate for 
a few seconds or whatever, just get some shots. She says, fine, yes, yeah, no problem. But she says, I'd just like to warn you that there's a gang of lads apparently gone up this drive or track or whatever you want to call it, um, kind of laddos, she said. And, and they've just gone off, so she said, just to be careful. They could be, well, they probably are um, urban explorers, but what type of urban explorer? Are they the ones that do damage or are they the genuine ones? So she said, just be careful. She says, you, she's not got a problem with me going up to the to the gates and what have you. And they say, car just passed me now. I was expecting a bit of, you know, a bit of hassle, but she was very nice, very nice actually. Um, but yeah, I'll see. In a minute, I'm not far off now, just around this corner. And I'll be approaching the gates, so I'll see what's going on. Because it's the same with the mental. There's a lot of urban explorers come to this place. But um, they're not very discreet, whoever these are. They said there was a gang of them, a pile of them in a car, and they just drive, drove up this track. Voices then, but just around this corner, and then I've just got about 100 yards, something like that, and then I'll uh, get some shots of pool park. That's all I want to do shots of pool park, and then I'll be gone. Let's see if I can see any car. Yeah, there is a car there. Yeah. So there it is. Pool Park Asylum. And I'm not going to enter the grounds. But I think I can hear a bit of movement there. So that's it. That was my mission for today. Rithin to Evernechted to Pool Park. And I think I can hear a quad bike. Um, there was someone in the car, by the way. I can hear something arriving there, so I think they're gonna get off my land. <laughs> but yeah, that's it, Pool Park. If you're interested in it, sister hospital to the NWH, the mental, uh, look it up, Google it. It's quite interesting, it's got a lot of history. So, thanks for joining me, hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you again.